so good morning bachcho today we are going to uh, discuss exercise 6 of circles okay so i think uh, after this one more exercise is left uh, in our circles so we will take that also today uh, we will uh, try to complete this exercise 6 okay so here's our first question It is saying circles x square plus y square minus two x minus four y equal to zero, and x square plus y square minus eight y minus four equal to zero. Few conditions are given in the options, so we have to check which one is the correct. Okay, so uh, let's first write the equation of the circles. It is given that for circle as x square plus y square. Minus two x minus four y equal to zero. So, what is the center of this circle? It will be one comma two, right? And uh, what will be radius of this circle? It will be one squared one plus two squared four, and minus of c. So here it is nothing. C is equal to zero here. So. Uh, R one is coming out to be root five. Okay, now let's see the equation of second circle. It is given x square plus y square uh, minus eight y minus four equal to zero. So, what is the center of this circle? Center of this circle will be no x term, so uh, x coordinate will be zero, and y coordinate will be four. Right. And uh, what is the radius of this circle? It will be zero squared plus four squared sixteen, and minus of minus four that is plus four, uh, that is equal to under root of twenty. Okay, so under root of twenty we can write it as four into five means uh, two root five. Okay. So if you see, we got the uh, center and radius of first circle. We got the centers. Cord means coordinates of centers and radius for the set, uh, second circle. So uh, let's try to find the distance between these centers. Means C one C two. What will be the length of C one C two? So it will be under root one squared one minus zero squared. That will be one squared plus two minus four. Means two squared. That is uh, C one C two is coming as root of five. Okay, and uh, what will be our r two minus r one? If you say r two minus r one will be two root five and uh, minus of root five. Okay, so r two minus r one is also coming as root five. Is it okay? So we got r two minus r one as uh, root five. And we got uh, this uh, distance between uh, the centers of the circle as root five. Means both these are equal. So what does it uh, signify? Means what does it implies? It implies that uh, like uh, this, uh, both the circles will touch each other internally, right? The uh, the diagram. If you want to see the uh, diagram for this. Like it will be something like this. The this will be one circle, and uh, the next circle will be like the next circle will be like this. Or like this. Example. This will be the situation. right so if you uh, see here if you see here uh, let us assume this c1 and c2 so it will be like this c1 c2 will be equal to r2 minus r suppose this is our uh, center 1 this is our uh, center 2 okay so the distance of c1 c2 will be equal to this will be your this complete thing will be our r1 and uh, this thing will be our r2 right so this c1 c2 will be equal to mod of 
R1 minus R2. Okay, so in this case, our circles touch each other internally. So this option A will be correct, right? So now let's move to uh, next question, question number two. The number of common tangents that can be drawn to these circles, like two uh, the equation of two circles are given in our question. And the question is asking to find the number of common tangents possible for these two uh, circles. Okay. So uh, let's uh, write the equation of circle. So here is our first circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 3 equal to 0. So what is the center of this? What is the center of this circle? It will be 2 comma 3. And uh, what will be radius? It will be 4 plus 9 minus of minus 3 means plus 3. So 12, 16. So it will be 4 basically. R1 is 4 and uh, coordinates of this uh, center of this circle is 2 comma 3. Now let's see the uh, another circle. This is x square plus y square plus 2x plus 2y plus 1 is equals to 0. Okay. So what will be the coordinates of center? It will be uh, minus 1 comma minus 1, right? And what will be radius? It will be 1 plus 1 minus 1 means it is uh, radius of this circle is 1. Okay. And so uh, now let's uh, find this C1, C2. It will be our uh, length of C1, C2. It will be 2 minus 1 minus of means 3 squared. Uh, 3 squared plus 3 minus 1 means uh, 4 is squared, right? So this C1, C2 is coming out to be 16 plus uh, 9, that is 5. And the root of 25 is 5. So uh, this C1, C2 is coming as 5, right? And our R1 plus R2, if you see, our R1 plus R2 is also uh, 5. 4 plus 1. So what does it mean? It means that both the circles touch each other externally. Right, then only this condition will uh, satisfy. So if uh, the circles touch each other externally, then how many uh, tangents can we draw? Right, how many tangents we can draw if two circles are touches, means if two circles touches each other externally. This will uh, be the scenario for the, our, uh, this question. So uh, possible tangents will be three, like two direct tangents we can draw, like this one. This will be our uh, one direct tangent. Uh, this will be our second direct tangent, right? And one uh, transverse common tangent can be drawn, right? So num total number of possible uh, common tangents will be three. How? Two direct common tangents, means this is our uh, direct common tangent. Direct common tangent number one. This will be our direct common tangent number two. And this will be our transverse common tangent, right? So transverse common tangent will be only one. So uh, total number of tangents, common tangents will be three. Okay. And uh, if you see here, like how this condition is getting satisfied, this will be our C1, C2, right? And this is nothing but R1 plus R2. This one is R1 and uh, this distance will be our R2. Okay. So whenever C1, uh, C2 is equals to R1 plus R2, it means both touches externally. Both the circles touches each other externally, touches each other externally. Right? Hope this is clear to all. So, this is our question number two. Let's see uh, the next question, question number three. It is saying if one of the circles, if one of the circles x square plus y square plus 2ax plus c equal to zero, and one another circle is there, x square plus y square plus 2bx plus c equal to zero lies within the other. 
then following conditions are given in the option we have to uh, check which condition is getting satisfied means which option is correct for this condition so uh, it is saying that if you observe uh, it is saying that one circle is uh, totally uh, contained within the other right suppose this is our one circle so if you see uh, this circle suppose one more circle is there like this is totally contained in the first circle okay so suppose this one if i am saying this circle is this circle has x square plus y square plus 2ax plus c is equals to 0. Okay. And I'm taking this white circle as uh, x square plus y square plus 2bx plus c equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to check which option is correct. Uh, we can do one thing. Like, uh, let me uh, uh, write the common equation of common chord for both these circles. You will say, how common chord? Yeah, uh, there uh, will be no real uh, common chord between these two circles. The common chord will be imaginary, basically. So, uh, let's try. And how to draw the equation of common chord? Means how to write the equation of common chord? It's nothing but our uh, this C1 minus C2 is equals to 0. But let me remind you, this common chord will be basically imaginary. Why? Because uh, these two circles are not cutting each other. No? So there will be no common chord in real. It will be imaginary basically. So this C1 minus C2 equal to 0. So what will be our C1 minus C2? This X square, Y square will be cancelled both these terms. Our it will be 2a, right? 2, uh, 2 a x minus 2 b x, 2 a x minus 2 b x. This c uh, and c will also be uh, get cancelled. So it will be equal to zero. Uh, from here, if you see, if I take common 2 x, then it will be a minus b equal to zero. Okay, from here we can say x equal to 0. x equal to 0 is an uh, imaginary common chord. x equal to 0 is an imaginary common chord. And uh, this, actually this common chord, we can call it as imaginary radical axis also. In this case, in this, particularly in this case, we can, we can call it as an uh, imaginary uh, radical axis also. So x equal to 0, suppose I am taking this line as x equal to 0, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, suppose I am taking this line, okay, this is uh, as x equal to 0. So this is a, a equation of our radical axis, imaginary radical axis or imaginary common chord. Now, uh, if you observe, what is the center of this circle? This circle, if you observe, what is the uh, center means uh, coordinates of center for this circle? It will be basically minus a, right? Minus, minus a comma zero, right? And uh, what will be the uh, center for this circle? Suppose I am telling it as C1 and this uh, as C2. So what will be the center for this? It will be minus b comma zero, right? And x equal to 0 uh, is a, uh, an imaginary common chord. But it will not intersect, like it will not intersect any of these two uh, circles, right? x equal to 0, this line will not intersect any of these uh, circles. So if you observe, this minus a means both c1 and c2, like if I say this both c1 and c2 lies on same side of uh, x equal to 0, right? same side of x equal to 0. What does it mean? What does it mean? This AB will be always greater than 0. This uh, product of AB will always be greater than 0. Why? If they lie on the uh, 
this uh, right hand side suppose if they lie on the right hand side of x equal to 0 so this uh, a and b will be uh, the coordinates of center will be positive what does it mean this a and b both should be negative and if both will be negative the product will be positive and if they are lying suppose in the, if they are lying this c1 then c2 lies in the left hand side of this x equal to 0 then coordinates of uh, center will be uh, negative in that case, this A and B both will be positive. So this AB will be greater than zero. And if, uh, so uh, is there any options like this? Yeah, we are having AB equal to zero, uh, greater than zero in two of the options. Now we have to check the value of C. So how can we uh, check the value of C? So for checking value of C, we can do one thing. Uh, where will uh, the origin will lie? Origin will basically lie on this line only, no? anywhere, anywhere it will lie on this axis. So suppose I am taking this origin as 0, 0. So this origin is lying outside the circle. We can say this origin is lying outside the, outside uh, the circles, right? And if any point is lying outside the circle, that means if we put that point in the equation of the circle, it will be greater than zero, right? So S of origin, S of zero comma zero should be uh, greater than zero. So put uh, zero comma zero in any of the equations, it will be zero plus zero uh, plus zero plus C should be greater than zero. From here, we can say that C must be greater than zero. So this uh, uh, AB product of AB, product of A and B will always be positive and C will always be positive. So this option third is correct. Option, sorry, option A is correct for this question. <clears throat> now let's say this next question. The condition that the circle x minus 3 is whole squared plus y minus 4 whole squared is equal to r square lies entirely within the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square okay so uh, let me uh, draw this so there is one circle x square plus y square is equal to r square and uh, there is one another circle this sorry So this, there is one another circle. Okay, it is lying completely inside this uh, circle. So uh, what is the equation? Suppose I'm taking this circle as x square plus y square is equal to r square, right? And I'm taking this uh, yellow colored circles equation as x minus three whole square plus y minus four whole squared is equal to r squared. And uh, what is the center of this bigger circle? The center of this bigger circle is basically 0, 0. And what is the radius? What is the radius for this circle? The radius for this circle is r. Okay. And this is smaller circle. If you see, what is the center? What is the center of this? 3, 4, right? 3, 4 is the center of this circle. And what is the radius? It is r. Okay, so for uh, this circle, this yellow colored circle to uh, lie completely inside this circle, what will be the condition? The condition will be C1, the distance between C1 and C2 should always be uh, less than R minus R, right? You can put the mod also. So this uh, R minus R should always be greater than c1 and c2 now uh, can you find the distance this c1 c2 it will be uh, 3 minus 0 squared means 3 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared 4 squared under root should be less than our r minus r modulus of r minus r or we can say r minus r modulus should be greater than 5 right this is uh, this modulus will give always a positive sign only 
So we can remove this modulus also and we can simply write it as R minus R is greater than 5. Why? Because capital R is greater than a small r. Right? So this will be the condition uh, for this yellow colored circle to lie completely in uh, this white colored circle. Okay? So option D is correct. So this was one question number four. Let's take this next question number five. The circles whose equations are this and this will touch one another, another externally. Okay, so two circles are given here. And uh, the question is telling that both these circles are touching one another externally. If so, we know we know that uh, if the circles are touching each other externally, it means the distance between their centers must be equal to r1 plus r2 means must be equal to uh, the sum of their radius, right? This is the condition for touching two circles externally. So, uh, let me write the equation of uh, circles. It is given as x square plus y square plus c square minus 2ax is equal to 0. This is our first circle. And uh, what will be a center for this circle? What will be center for this circle? It will be mm, a comma 0, right? And what will be the, uh, let me name it as c1. Oh, and what will be the radius for this circle? It will be a squared. The 0 squared will be 0 only. So a squared minus c. c means minus of c squared. Right? Now uh, let's take the another circle. It is given x squared plus y squared uh, plus c squared minus 2by equal to 0. Okay. So what will be the center of this circle? Center of this circle will be 0, comma, because x term is not here. No? So uh, 0, comma, b, right? And uh, what will be the radius of this circle? It will be b squared minus of c squared. Now apply this condition. Apply this condition on uh, this. So c1, c2 means distance between the centers must be equal to r1 plus r2. So what will be our C1, C2 distance between uh, these centers? It will be A squared, A minus A squared plus B squared under root, right? This must be equal to R1 plus R2. That is nothing but A square minus C square plus under root of B square minus C square. Let's square it, A square uh, on both hand sides. So what we will get, squaring we will get, after squaring, we will get a square plus b square is equal to apply a plus b whole squared formula here. So it will be a square minus c square. Let me write here clearly. I am squaring on both hand sides. Okay. So a square minus c square plus b square minus c square plus 2 under root a square minus c square into b square minus c square, right? So see here, this a square and b square will be cancelled out. And this c square after uh, moving to the left hand side, it becomes 2c square is equal to 2 under root of a square minus c square into b square minus c square, right? So again, this 2 is getting cancelled out. Uh, we can do one thing, we can uh, square it once again. After squaring once again, after squaring once again, we will get uh, c to the power 4 is equal to uh, this a square b square minus a square c square minus b square c square plus uh, c to the power 4. Again, it will be cancelled out and uh, what we will be left with a square b square is equal to a square c square plus b square c square, right? Now divide whole thing 
by a square b square c square so if you divide by a square by b a square b square c square so uh, what you will get what you will get from here it will be 1 by c square is equal to um, c square c square will be cancelled means 1 by b square and here we are left with b square c square will be cancelled 1 by a square so this is the condition if this condition is getting satisfied that is 1 by a square plus 1 by b square is equal to 1 by c square then both these circles will touch each other externally right so this will be our correct option will be option c 1 by a square plus 1 by b square is equal to 1 by c square right so this was our question number five uh, let's see this question number six so uh, two circles are there with uh, radius r1 and r2 where r1 is greater than r2 greater than uh, or equal to 2 and both these circles are touching each other externally okay so if theta be the angle between the direct common tangents then we have to find the value of theta okay so uh, two circles are given here two circles are given here right uh, this one is one circle We are drawing uh, direct common tangents, right? We have to find the angle between direct common tangents. Now I am drawing one another uh, circle here. And what I will do, I will uh, join these points, centers of both the circles that will uh, touch, that will pass through that intersection point of both the direct common tangents right so uh, suppose this one is our circle uh, with r1 radius right this one is our uh, first circle this one is our circle one and this one is our circle two right so if you see this one is this is the radius this will be 90 degree and this is given to be r1 and uh, suppose uh, this is our second circle's radius. This is given to be what? R2. So R1 is greater than R2. No? Yeah. So we are drawing in the same way. R1 is greater than R2. And theta is the angle between the direct common tangents. So basically this line joining uh, this C1, C2. this line joining this c1 c2 will intersect means will pass through the point of intersection of both these uh, direct common tangents so suppose i am taking this point as q right so uh, as per question this is given that this angle is theta this angle is theta angle between both the uh, direct common tangents now if you see uh, if you see can we uh, do one construction here let me let me draw let me do one construction here what i will do i will or we can do one thing uh, No. Yeah, le uh, we can join these points, no? Like, if we join these points,
Okay, I'm joining these points. So this will be basically our R2 minus R1, right? And uh, okay, if we join this also, let me uh, say like what is going to happen. So uh, what I will do, uh, I will find this theta by two. So let me take it as alpha. Let me take this angle will be alpha and this angle will be alpha. So basically uh, this alpha plus alpha is equal to theta. So uh, this line C1 uh, Q line or CT, uh, C2 T C Q line will basically bisect this angle uh, theta. So uh, 2 alpha is equal to theta. What I will do, I will first try to find this alpha and then uh, we can easily find out this theta also. Multiplying by 2 will give me uh, the value of theta. So what will be alpha basically? If you see, uh, if this angle is alpha, no? So uh, our this angle will also be alpha. Our this angle will also be alpha, right? If I am not wrong, because these two lines will be parallel basically. These two lines will be parallel. I am drawing this uh, as a rectangle. This R1, R2, uh, uh, R1, R2 and this uh, C2 and C1. Okay. So the, if this angle will be alpha, then we can find this sine alpha as what will be this distance? This distance will be R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2, right? This distance. So, uh, and this will be our so our sin alpha, this will be our 90 degree. So our uh, sin alpha will become R1 minus R2, right? R1 minus R2 upon this thing. Okay, I have uh, done one mistake basically. These two uh, circles have to be joined now. This, these are touching each other externally. So uh, this one mistake I made, uh, like basically this circle will uh, touch each other. And uh, I have given a distance between them. So this is uh, the wrong drawing which I have drawn. So should I erase it and do it again or what to do? Okay, this C1, C2. Let me erase it, right? Or uh, let me uh, draw one more drawing. Let me draw one more drawing. So I am erasing this complete thing then that will be uh, better, I think. I didn't go through the question. I, I went on drawing the circles and direct common tangent. So this was the mistake. But uh, actually, both these circles are touching each other externally. So this will be the case this will be our first circle and this will be our second circle and now we can draw the direct common tangents it will be like this I'm drawing one more uh, direct common tangent from this side. So it will be like this. Now it's okay. I'm joining these two points. I will join uh, centers to this, centers to this. Okay. So now what I'm doing, this one is our uh, radius R1. This one is our radius R2. This is uh, this uh, complete angle is theta. This angle will be uh, theta by two. Okay, so this will be uh, theta by two. Since this uh, line uh, bisect the angle between the uh, direct common tangents, so these are uh, C one, C two, the centers of both the circles. And let uh, me assume this point, the point of intersection of the direct common tangents as Q. Okay, so uh, what I will do. I will join these two lines, right? I will join these two lines. 
and these two. So uh, basically, this distance will be this distance will be R one minus R two. This distance will be R one minus R two. Okay, and uh, this if this angle is theta by two, this will also be theta by two. Why? Because these two lines are parallel. These lines and these lines are parallel. Okay, so our sine theta by two, our sine theta by two will be equal to R one minus R two upon C one C two. And what is C one C two? C one C two, the distance between both the centers will be nothing but this one. This one is R one. This one is R two. So this will be R one plus R two. So what will be our theta by two? Theta by two will be our sine inverse R one minus R two upon R one plus R two. Okay, so uh, but we need to find the theta. So theta will be nothing but two times uh, sine inverse r one minus r two upon r one plus. Okay, so this will be our uh, angle between both the direct uh, common tangents. Okay, so this construction was important basically. Uh, once we were drawn uh, this. Uh, Construction like uh, I have joined this center to this point, and I have to joined one parallel line to this. Like these two uh, lines are parallel, and these two lines will be parallel. So this will also be angle uh, theta by two one, right? From here we got this uh, sine theta by two value, and once theta by two is known to us, we can easily find the uh, theta by multiplying with a factor of two. Okay. So let's see this next question. Question number seven. It is saying that the circles this and this intersect each other in two distinct points. Okay. So both these circles are intersecting in uh, two distinct points. What does it mean? That the distance between them, that the distance between them must be less than R1 minus R2. This condition must be satisfied if both the circles are intersecting in two points, two distinct points, intersecting at two distinct points. Okay. So, uh, if we see, if you see the equation of trend, uh, circles, it is given that x square plus y square minus 10x plus 16 is equals to 0. And uh, our another circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. So, what is the center of this circle? It will be 5 comma 0. Okay. And what is the radius of this circle? It will be uh, 25 it will be 25 minus of 16 that is nothing but uh, 3 and uh, what is the center of this circle it will be 0 comma 0 and radius is nothing but r. okay so let's calculate this c1 c2 c1 c2 is easily uh, this 5 5 only so c1 c2 is coming to be 5 and uh, our uh, this should be less than I mean c1 c2 should be less than what R1 minus R2 means, or mod you can say R minus 3 mod. Okay. Or we can say uh, this. Uh, no, uh, whether I have applied the. Uh, no, C1, C2 should be greater than R1 minus R2. No. For intersecting at two points, let me uh, draw it first. Then it will be easy. So uh, suppose this one is our one circle. This one is our uh, second circle and both these circles are intersecting. Both these circles are intersecting. And this is our C1, C2. So this is our uh, center of this circle this is the center of the second circle right so if both the uh, circles are intersecting 
that means the distance between them should must be less than uh, r1 plus r2 right this distance should be less than r1 plus r2 and this c1 c2 must be uh, greater than r1 minus r2 right then only uh, these circles will intersect, right? So uh, this C1, C2 should be, this will be the condition. This should be the condition for uh, the two circles to intersect at two distinct points. So what I have written here, C1, C2 should be greater than R1 minus R. This should be greater than, not equal, uh, less than, right? So this should be greater than, this should be uh, greater than R1 minus R2. This should be greater than R1 minus R2. Similarly, I have to erase here also. This one will be uh, greater than R1 minus R2. So what does it mean? C1, C2 is 5. right? 5 should be greater than uh, R minus 3 ka mod. Okay. So, or we can say, r minus 3 mod same thing we can write it as r minus 3 mod is less than 5 okay so where should this r minus 3 lie this r minus 3 should lie between 5 to minus 5 okay uh, now add uh, uh, plus 3 plus 3 if you add where should it lie uh, plus 3 means minus 2 R, R minus 3 is less than, uh, R minus 3 mod is less than 5, no? So, R minus 3 should be uh, between uh, 5 to minus 5, right? So, minus 2 and this will be plus 3 if we are adding. It will be uh, minus 2 to 8 and uh, what will be coming from here? R1 plus R2, if you see C1 my C1 C2, this C1 C2 should be less than R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2 means 3 plus R mod. Okay. So from here we can say 3 plus R mod is greater than 5. Okay. So either 3 plus R should be uh, greater than 5 or 3 plus R should be greater than 5 or 3 plus R should be uh, less than minus of 5. So from here if you see R should be greater than 2 and uh, R should be less than minus 8. So from this condition we are getting this and uh, this C1, C2 is greater than R1 minus R2. No? So R minus 3. So, uh, 5 is greater than R minus 3 mod, correct? And from here we can say R minus 3 is less than 5. So, R minus 3 should lie between this uh, 5 to minus 5, right? This will be the range of R minus 3. Now, if I am adding it, minus 3. But uh, what... I am getting, I don't know uh, why this expression is coming out because uh, minus 3. No? So from here it is coming to be minus 2. R, the value of R should lie between minus 2 to 8. And from here we are getting R should be greater than 2. R should be greater than 2 and from here we are getting R should be less than 8. So the range of R will be between 2 to 8. 2 to 8, right? This will be the uh, range of R. This will be the range of, of R. Have I done some mistake or is it okay? C1, C2, the distance between both the uh, centers is 5 only. Okay. And the radius of first circle is 3. The radius of second circle is R. So this C1, C2 should be greater than 
minus one. Yeah, right. Or we can say this if you see this, uh, if you consider it as a three minus r, then this will be within the range of two to eight only. Right. So our answer will be C. Option C. Let's check this uh, with our what you say uh, with the diagram once. If I'm drawing the coordinates, this is our uh, circle with center 0, 0, right? And his, its radius is R. And I'm drawing one more circle whose center is how much? Its center is uh, 5, 0, right? So it's a center is five comma zero and its radius is this center is five comma zero. So I'm taking second circle. Its radius is three. So this point will be basically two comma zero, right? This point will be two comma zero. This A point will be two comma zero and this B point will be uh, five plus three means eight comma zero. Now we have to find this value of R so that it intersect this uh, circle at two given points. So where should R lie? R should be greater than two and less than eight. Then only this uh, white colored circle will intersect this circle at two given points, right? So uh, the value of R from here coming out to be two to eight. It should not be more than eight because if once this r is getting more than 8 means this yellow colored circle will completely contained in that uh, circle so uh, it will not intersect so from here also from this uh, uh, graphical approach also we are getting we are getting the value of r as 2 to 8 so option c is correct so just a minute i am getting one phone call Yeah, sorry, Bacho, for the interruption. So, uh, hope this question is clear to all, this question number seven. So, we have seen this question both by uh, graphical or geometrical approach and by this uh, inequality approach, right? So, uh, let's move to the next question. That is question number eight. So... It is saying if the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 22y plus c equal to 0 uh, bisects the circumference of this circle, then c plus d is equal to. So uh, one circle is there. One circle is there which is bisecting the circumference of other, uh, other circle. So I have drawn this circle. And I'm drawing uh, one another circle, right? I'm drawing one another circle. Okay. And I'm joining these two points, which is the diameter of this. Okay. So uh, as per question, this circle, this x square plus y square plus 4x plus 22y plus c, this circle, if you say, uh, the equation of this circle is x square plus y square plus 4x uh, plus 22y plus c equal to 0. This circle is bisecting this yellow colored uh, circle, right? Whose equation is, the equation of this circle is x square plus y square uh, minus 2x plus 8y minus d is equals to 0, okay? So, uh, actually, what will be the center of this uh, circle? What will be the center of this circle if you say uh, center of this circle will be uh, 2 comma minus 4, 2 comma minus 4. And it will lie on the diameter. I am naming this uh, dia as AB. So, uh, center will be basically uh, coordinates will be 2 comma minus 4. 
means since this white colored circle is bisecting this yellow colored circle what does it mean uh, bisecting the circumference means the if we join the point of interaction na, point of intersection of both these circles that a line will pass through the center of the circle and that line will be particularly diameter right this diameter of this circle ab will be diameter of this circle since this circle is uh, this white colored circle is uh, bisecting the circumference of this yellow colored circle this ab will be uh, the diameter of circle which will pass definitely through the center of the circle okay so um, what we have to uh, find we have to find the value of uh, c plus d so if you know if you know uh, we can write the equation of common chord right we have learned in our uh, we have learned in this chapter we can write the equation of common chord ab this ab is common chord to both the circles however it will be a, a, a diameter for this uh, yellow colored circle so equation of the circle is uh, this uh, c minus suppose i am taking this as circle as c1 okay and this circle as c2 so this c1 minus c2 is equals to 0 okay so this will be x square plus y square minus 2x plus 8y minus d minus of c2 c2 is x square plus y square plus 4x plus 22y plus c is equals to 0 right so this uh, x square this x square will be cancelled y square minus y square will be cancelled now minus 2x and uh, minus 4x will be minus 6x plus 8y minus uh, 22y right so this will be minus 14y right and uh, minus d minus c minus d minus c is equals to zero now this is the equation of ab which will pass through the center right whose coordinates are 2 comma minus 4 so let's put it so from here we get <clears throat> minus 6 into 2 will be minus 12 uh, minus 14 into 4 that will be plus 56 right plus 56 minus if i take minus common it will be c plus d is equals to 0 so from here if you see center oh, center will be 1 comma minus 4 right not 2 minus 2 comma minus 4 center will be 1 comma minus 4 its center will be 1 comma minus 4 so it will be basically minus 6 <coughs> it's a, uh, so this will be a plus 56 minus 6 that will be 50 is equal to c plus d this is what we need this is what is asked in the question the value of c plus d so the c plus d uh, will be equal to 50 that means option b is correct okay now let's take this next question question number nine it is saying two circles this and this are given then the equation of circle passing through their point of intersection and the point one comma one okay so if two circles are given we can write the uh, equation of other circle means equation we can write the family of equation of family of circles which will pass through the intersection point of these two given circles okay so our first circle suppose i'm uh, taking this first circle as x square plus y square is equal to six right and the second circle is uh, x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. Now the question is asking the equation of circle passing through their point of intersection. So uh, equation of circle passing through the point of intersection of these two circles can be given as can be given as c1 plus lambda times c2 is equal to 0. Right. So let's put it. So this will be x square plus y square minus 6, right? 
plus lambda times c2 c2 is nothing but x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8 is equals to 0 okay and uh, this circle this circle is also passing through this point 1 comma 1 okay so uh, first make it uh, simpler like this will be 1 plus lambda x square right then uh, 1 plus lambda y square then it will be minus 6 minus 6 from here uh, minus 6 lambda x plus 8 lambda right this will be equal to 0 now put this point 1 comma 1 here 1 comma 1 in this equation right so putting this 1 comma 1 in this equation what we will get we will get 1 plus lambda plus 1 plus lambda into 1 minus 6 minus 6 lambda plus 8 lambda is equals to 0 so what it will become lambda plus lambda 2 lambda 2 lambda plus 8 lambda 10 lambda minus 6 lambda will be 4 lambda and 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 4 minus 4 is equals to 0 from here we got lambda as 1 okay so we can uh, write the uh, equation of the required circle as this x square plus y square minus 6 plus lambda is equal to 1 so it will be x square plus y square minus 6x six plus 8 is equals to 0. So x square plus x square is 2x square okay plus 2y square then we will have minus 6x six and plus 8 minus 6 that is plus 2 is equals to 0. You can make the coefficients of x square and y square as 1. So divide this whole thing by 2. We will get x square plus y square minus 3x plus 1 is equals to 0. This will be our equation of required circle which will pass through the intersection point of this c1, c2 and that circle will also pass through point 1 comma 1. So x square plus y square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Option B is there. So it will be correct option. Let's say the next question, question number 10. The equation of circle described on the common chord of circles this and this as diameter. Okay, means it is saying that this question is saying that two circles are there. Okay, they are intersecting also. So, these are two circles. Equation of circle described on the common chord. Okay. So, we have to write one equation of circle which taking this as chord. So, uh, here it is. Uh, one circle is given. This one is our second circle. And the common chord. There will be one common chord also. Right. This will be our common chord. Common chord means join the point of intersection of both these circles. This will be our common chord. Now the question is asking to write the equation of circle having this common chord as diameter. Means having this A, B as diameter, we have to write the equation of the circle. Okay. Suppose I am taking this circle as C1, C2. It is given in the question itself. So we have to uh, write the equation of that circle whose diameter is A, B. Okay, so here it is given, uh, first circle is given as x square plus y square plus 2x is equals to 0, okay. And the second circle is x square plus y square plus 2y is equals to 0, okay. So let me first write the equation of AB. Let me first write the equation of AB. It will be C1 minus A2 equal to 0. Okay. So it will become x square plus y square plus 2x uh, minus x square minus y square minus 2y equal to 0. So x square minus x square y square minus y square. It will become 2 times x minus y equal to 0 or x minus y equal to 0. 
So we got the equation of AB, right? We got the equation of AB. Now, making this AB as diameter, we have to write the equation of that circle. We have to write the equation of that circle. So we can do one thing. We can find the coordinates of this A and B. Okay. If we can find the coordinates of this A and B, then we can write the equation of the required circle, taking A and B as the diametric lines. Okay. So let's try to figure it out. Let's try to find the coordinates of A and B. So this X minus Y equal to zero. This one is one equation. And let me uh, suppose take uh, C1. I will, what I am trying to do, what I will solve for X and Y. So this X square plus Y square plus two X equal to zero. I will take the intersection point. So from equation one, Y equal to X. So I can put here uh, Y square plus Y square plus two Y equal to zero. Okay. From here we get two Y square, two Y square plus two Y means two common negable. This will be, uh, uh, okay, let me write it completely. 2y square plus 2y is equals to 0. So, I will say 2y common agar le leta hu. So, what I will be having y plus uh, 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, this will solve ki Now, y equal to x, no, we have put... Uh, uh, y in terms of x here. So we got this uh, quadratic. From here we get y equal to 0 or y equal to minus 1. y equal to 0 or y equal to minus 1. Okay. And since x is equal to y, our x will be equal to 0 and uh, it will be equal to minus 1. Okay. Similarly, you can uh, find the point of interaction by taking uh, this uh, circle C2 also. So uh, the coordinates of A and B we got as X is, is zero, then Y will also be zero. And if X is minus one, Y will also be minus one, <coughs> right? So now we got the AB uh, coordinates of A and B. So our required circle will be, our required circle will be, x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 equal to 0. So this one uh, x, suppose this one is your x1 y1, right? And this one is your x2 y2. So it will become x into x minus 1 means x plus 1 plus y into y minus y2 will be y plus 1 equal to 0. So it will become x square plus x plus y square plus y equal to 0. Or we can simply write it as x square plus y square plus x plus y equal to 0. This is our required circle, whose, uh, which is passing through the intersection uh, Sorry, which is uh, having a b as its diameter, right? X square plus y square plus x plus y equal to zero. So this option D is correct. Now let's take this uh, next question. Question number eleven. The equation of the diameter of the circle this, which is perpendicular to the line two x plus three y equals to twelve. Okay. So one equation, uh, one circle is there. And the question is asking to write the equation of the diameter of this circle, which is perpendicular to line this. Means which is perpendicular to, so suppose I'm taking this as diameter and that will, uh, this line will be perpendicular to this line. This is what the question is saying. So this line is given as 2x plus 3y is equals to 12, okay? Or we can simply write it as uh, 3y is equals to minus 2x plus 12. So this will be our diameter. Suppose this is our uh, AB, right? So AB will be the diameter. 
and this diameter is perpendicular to this line. This is what is saying in the question. So we have to find the equation of this AP. Okay, so uh, let me write the equation of the circle first. It is three times x square plus y square minus 2x plus 6y minus 9 equals to 0. So uh, divided by 3, we get x square plus y square minus 2 by 3x, right? Plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0. So what will be center for this? What will be center for this circle? It will be 1 comma 3 comma uh, 1 comma 3 comma minus, right? This will be the center of this circle. 1 comma 3, sorry, 1 by 3 comma minus 1. Okay. So we can assume the equation of AB, right? Which is passing through this point. So uh, y minus y1, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Now, what will be the slope for this uh, AB? Slope of AB, suppose this is, I'm taking a slope of AB into slope of, suppose I'm taking this line as CD. Slope of CD will be minus one since both these lines are perpendicular. So we need to find the slope of AB. Slope of AB I am taking as M and what will be slope of CD? It will be from here if you see Y equal to minus 2 by 3 X plus 4. This is what this equation is becoming. Uh, dividing by 3 minus 2 by 3 into X plus 4. So slope of CD is minus 2 by 3. Minus 2 by 3 and that should be equal to minus 1. So our slope of AB is coming out to be 3 by 2. Slope of AB is coming out to be 3 by 2. So we are done with this question. We will be able to easily find out the equation of circle. Y plus 1 is equal to M is 3 by 2. And what is this? 3, then 3x three minus 1. So this 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. This will be 2y plus 2 is equals to 3x minus 1. So uh, 2y minus 3x, 2y minus 3x plus 3 is equals to 0. So, or uh, what we can do, we can take a uh, negative common minus sign common. So this will be 3x minus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. 3x minus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. So option B is correct. Okay. Hope the calculation part is okay here. So 3, 3x minus 1. M is slope of AB is coming to be 3 by 2, right? So 2y plus 2 equal to 3x minus 1. Yes, it's okay. So any equation can be uh, either this or this. So as per option or uh, B option is coming. 3x minus 2y minus 3 equal to 0. So this question is done. Question number 11. Now we are going to start this question number 12. <coughs> if the curves this and this intersect at four concyclic points, then the value of A. Okay, if you observe the equation, this is uh, not an equation of a circle basically because XY term is here. So anyway, if two curves are intersecting, no, if two curves are intersecting, we can uh, write the equation of a curve passing through the intersection point of these two curves as S1 per, uh, means uh, C1 plus lambda times C2 is equals to zero, where C1 and C2 are any curves. C1 and C2 are any two curves. So we can uh, write this as uh, C1 plus lambda times C2 is equals to zero. Okay, this uh, this curve will pass through the intersection point of this C1 and C2. Is it okay? So uh, as per question, it is saying that they are intersecting at four concyclic points. So let me first simplify it and write it. So uh, C1 is nothing but AX square 
plus 4xy plus 2y square plus x plus y plus 5, right? Plus lambda times, this one is our C1, plus lambda times C2. C2 is ax square plus 6xy plus 5y square plus 2x plus 3y plus 8, right? This should be equal to 0. Now, it is saying that the this curve is, uh, means uh, these two curves are intersecting at four concyclic points. What does it mean? All the four points uh, lie on the circle. So this resulting curve, this resulting curve should be the equation of circle. Then only uh, they will uh, fall on the concyclic points. They will lie on the uh, cosine concyclic points. So this curve, this curve should be circle basically. This curve should be circle. Okay, so uh, let's uh, simplify this curve. What we can write? We can write a plus lambda a x square, right? Then uh, if you take x y term, it will be 4 plus uh, x y means from here it will be 6 lambda. 4 plus 6 lambda into x y. Now take uh, y square terms, it will be 2 plus 5 lambda y square, right? And then uh, x plus lambda 2, x plus 2 lambda. 1 plus 1 plus 2 lambda into x then uh, 1 plus 3 lambda into y okay and then 5 plus 8 lambda 5 plus 8 lambda is equal to 0 this curve should be circle okay so we know for uh, circle this x y term this 4 plus 6 lambda term should be equal to 0 and coefficient of x square coefficient of x square should be equal to coefficient of y square right this is the condition for a uh, general second degree equation to be a circle okay from here we get 6 lambda is equals to minus 4 or lambda is equals to minus 2 upon 3 right and uh, what is the coefficient of x square here it is a plus lambda a and what is the coefficient of y square here 2 plus uh, 2 plus 5 lambda right 2 plus 5 lambda so and we need to find the value of a so a plus lambda is in how much minus 2 by 3 so minus 2a by 3 is equals to 2 plus 5 into Lambda is minus 2 by 3. So if you take LCM, we get 3a minus 2a is equals to how much it will be coming? It will be 3, so 6 and minus 10, right? So from here, if you get uh, a will be equal to 3a minus a, 2a, a will be equal to minus 1. So this will be our answer. This will be our answer. Now, how, uh, why we said that this uh, curve should be circle? That is important thing in this question because it is saying that these two curves intersect at four concyclic points, right? So, co four concyclic points means the resulting curve should be a circle. So, A is coming out to be minus four. So, option B is correct. Option B is correct. Now let's take the next question, question number 13. Find the equation of the circle passing through the point of intersection of this and this and point 1 comma 1. So we have done this type of question earlier in this exercise. So our resulting, our required circle will be of, our required circle will be of form C1 plus lambda times C2 is equals to 0. What is C1? It is x square plus y square plus 13x minus 3y, right? Plus lambda times c2. c2 is 2x square plus 2y square. 
plus 2y square plus 4x minus 7y minus 25 equal to 0. Right, but there is uh, one catch. We can uh, we have to make this coefficient uh, of x square and y square as one. Right, so I have to make the coefficient of this x square and y square as one. So I have to divide this whole thing by two. Right, so it will become x square plus y square plus thirteen x minus three y plus lambda into x square plus y square plus 2x minus 7 by 2y and minus 25 by 2 is equals to 0. Okay. Now this uh, uh, circle is also passing through 1 comma 1. So it should satisfy this 1 comma 1. So this will be 1 plus 1 plus 13 uh, minus 3 plus lambda into 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 7 by 2 minus 25 by 2 is equals to 0. Right. So 1 plus 1, 2, 13, 13 plus 2, 15 minus 3, 15 minus 3 will be 12, 12 plus lambda, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 minus this, uh, let me take uh, LCM completely. So 2, then this will be 4, 2, 4, 2 is 8, uh, minus 7, minus 25, right? This should be equal to 0. So 12 plus how much it will be? 8 minus 7 will be 1, 1 minus 24 means minus 24 minus 24 by 2, that will be minus 12. So 12 plus minus 12 lambda is equals to 0. So from here we got lambda as 1, right? 12 lambda is equals to 12, so lambda is equals to 1. So what will be our required uh, equation of circle? <clears throat> from our required equation of uh, circle will be so put lambda is equals to 1. So it will be x square, x square plus y square plus 13x minus 3y, right? Plus x square plus y square plus 2x minus 7 by 2y and plus minus 25 by 2. Okay. So after simplification, what we get? 2x square plus 2y square plus 13x plus 2x, that is plus 15x and minus 3y minus 7 by 2y, that will be 3 and 3, 6, 6 6.5 means minus 13 by 2y and minus 25 by 2 is equals to 0, right? Further, we can uh, divide it by 2 to make the coefficient of x square and y square as uh, 1. But this will be also a uh, correct answer, not an issue. Further, you can simplify and you can make it any, uh, like after dividing 2, you can make it as uh, another equation, making the coefficient of x square and y square as well. That is also valid. So, hope this is clear to all. 2x square, 2y square, 13x plus 2x, that will be 15x. and minus 13 by uh, 2y and minus 25 by 2 equal to the second. So this will be our required uh, equation of circle. <coughs> now it is saying that so that the common chord of the circles this and this pass through the center of the second circle and find its length. Mm, pass through the center of the second circle, right? So uh, let me draw it. Let me draw another circle. It is saying that so that the common chord of the circle this and this pass through the center of the second circle. 
okay so like uh, if i join the common point next point of intersection okay so it is saying the common part of the circle means this white colored circle i am taking this uh, circle as i am taking this circle as x square plus y square minus 6x minus 4y uh, plus 9 equal to 0 right and uh, this circle is the equation of this circle is x square plus y square minus 8x minus 6y plus 23 equals to 0. So it is saying that uh, suppose this is our circle 1, this is our circle 2. So this circle uh, 1 and circle 2 are intersecting. So this A and B will be the uh, common chord for both the circles. Now it is saying that so that this AB will pass through the center of the second circle and find its length. So if you see, if you see uh, what will be the center of this circle, what will be the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be uh, 4 comma 3, right? 4 comma 3. And uh, what will be the radius of this circle? It will be uh, 16 plus 9 and minus 23. That is uh, 16 plus 9 is 25. Okay, 25 minus 23 is uh, 2. So R2 is coming to be uh, root 2. This will be the radius of this circle. So uh, let me mark it as this C2. The coordinates of this will be 4 comma 3. Right? Just a minute, just a minute. So uh, this uh, radi uh, the center of this circle will be 4 comma 3 and its radius is uh, root 2. So let me uh, write the equation of AB. Equation of AB. How can we write the equation of AB? C1 minus C2 is equals to 0. C1 minus C2 equals to 0. Where C1 is this uh, x square plus y square minus 6x. So this will be minus xx plus 8x, that will be 2x, right? 2x minus 4y and then uh, plus 6y. So this will be plus 2y. So and uh, plus 9 minus of 23. Minus 23 plus 9, it will be 14. Uh, 23, 10 janis, 13 onga, 9 janis, 14 onga. So this will be minus 14 is equals to 0. Okay. Now let's put or we can simply write it as x plus y minus 7 is equals to 0. Now uh, let's put this uh, coordinates of C2 here. Coordinates of C2 here. Let's see whether it is satisfying or not. So coordinates of C2 is 4 comma 3. So let's put here. So it will be 4 plus 3. 7 minus 7 is equals to 0. Yeah, so it means uh, this line is passing through, since it is satisfying, it passes through, it passes through C2. That has been proved. It passes through C2. Okay. Now, if it passes through C2, what does it mean? It means this AB must be the diameter of C2. It means AB must be the diameter, must be dia of circle 2 must be the dia of circle 2 and if it it will be the uh, diameter of circle 2 what will be the length of ab it will be 2 times r that is nothing but uh, 2 root 2 okay so this will be our answer we have proved that uh, it this line will pass through the center and we have also proved that We have also proved that its uh, length is uh, means it's. We have also uh, find out its length as two root two. Okay, so this is what it is asked in the question. So let's take the next question. Question number fifteen. It is saying prove that the circles this and this touch each other if a b one is equals to a one b. Okay, for. Uh, Touching the circles, like uh, 
two circles are here x square plus y square plus 2ax uh, plus 2by equal to 0. This one is our main circle. And our second circle is x square plus y square plus 2a1x uh, plus 2b1y equal to 0. Okay. So what is the center for this? What is the center for this? This will be a uh, minus a right minus a comma uh, minus b right and what will be the center of this circle it will be a minus of a1 comma minus of b1 and what will be radius of this uh, circle it will be a square plus b square no uh, constant term here so it will be under root of a square plus b square and here it will be under root of a1 square plus b1 square. Okay. Now, the question is asking that uh, prove that these two circles will touch each other if this is a b1 is equal to a1 b. So, what is the condition for two circles to touch? They can either touch externally or they can touch internally also. So, uh, this c1 c2 this c1 c2 should be equal to if r1 plus r2 means they are touching uh, externally and if r1 minus r2 if this will be the, the distance between both the centers will be r1 minus r2 it means both will touch internally right so this is the condition for touching to touch right This is the condition for touching two circles. Condition for touching two circles, right? Now, what is C1, C2? C1, C2 will be minus A minus B means A1 minus A whole squared plus B1 minus uh, B1 minus B right whole is squared under root and this must be equal to r1 plus minus r2 that means r a under root of a square plus b square plus minus under root of a1 is square plus b1 is square right now we square it on both hand sides uh, what we will have after the squaring we will have a1 is square plus a is square minus 2 a a1 okay plus b1 is square plus b squared minus 2b b1 is equals to a square plus b square plus a1 square plus b1 square plus minus 2 under root a square plus b square into a1 square plus b1 square under root right so this a square a square will be cancelled out this b square b square will be cancelled out and we are left with this okay this will also cancel out a1 square a1 square b1 square b1 square so we are left with minus 2 a a1 okay and minus 2 b b1 is equals to plus minus 2 under root of this a square plus b square under root of a1 square plus b1 square okay so Let's take this negative common. So this sign will be plus. Okay. And this two will also be cancelled out. This two we can also cancel out. So and uh, again is squaring. If you square it again, what you will get if you square it again, you will get a a1 plus b b1 squared. Okay. Is equals to this square root uh, will be removed means a square plus b square into a1 square plus b1 square so this will be a square a1 square plus b square b1 square plus 2ab a1 b1 2ab a1 b1 is equals to a square a1 square plus a square b1 square plus uh, b square a1 square plus b square b1 square okay 
So a square a1 square, a square a1 square will be cancelled. B square B1 square will be cancelled. Now we are left with this one. 2 A A1 A B1 and 2 A B1 and B A1 is equals to this A square B1 square plus B square A1 is. Now in, as per condition if A1 A B1 is equals to this is what we got if the circles are touching each other. So obviously if a b1 is equal to uh, like if I uh, take this a b1 is equal to if a b1 is equals to a1 b right. So what we can write here we can write here two times of or uh, let me uh, take this negative uh, left hand side as, as it is what we can uh, write this uh, this RHS will become what this will be a b1 squared no. So I am writing in place of this, I am writing this as a1 b squared, this first term, a1 b squared and uh, this will be as it is a1 b squared, a1 b squared. So this is nothing but two times a1 square b square or uh, a1 squared b squared, no. So a1 is squared b is squared. So, so our uh, RHS become this. And if you uh, take this a b1 as a1 b, so it will become a b1 means we are replacing a b1 by a1 b. So it will become 2 a1 b into b a. Okay. So similarly here also in left hand side, we are getting 2 b squared into a1 is squared and which is equal to right hand side. So yeah, if this condition is there, they both the circles will touch each other. Now, let's move to the next question. This is the last question. I don't know what is the length of this video, but we will close this question as soon as we means. I will not solve the complete uh, question this, this 16th one, but I will give the idea like what is to be done here. So find the equation of common tangents to this and this. Okay. So uh, let me first write the equation. So find the equation of common tangent. So two uh, circles are uh, given here and we have to find the equation of common tangents. So first we have to identify the position of circles, like whether they are intersecting or uh, they are contained in one another or they are separated. Let's see what uh, what is here. So this will be x square plus y square minus 24x plus 2y plus 120 equal to 0. This is our one circle. And our next circle is x square plus y square plus 20x minus 6y minus 116 is equals to 0. So uh, what is the center of this circle? It is uh, 12 comma minus 1, right? And what is the radius of this? The radius of this will be 144 plus 1 minus 120. That is 145 minus 120, that is 5. And uh, what is the center of this circle? It will be minus 10 comma 3. Right, minus 10, comma 3, and what will be the radius? The radius will be 100 plus 9 minus of minus 116 means plus of 116. So 100, 100, 200, 225. 225 means R2 is equals to 15. So uh, let me check what is this C1, C2. What is the distance between the centers? So it will be 12, 12 minus 10 means 22 is squared, 22 is squared and uh, plus 4 is squared, right? So 22 into 22 will be 22 into 22, what it will be? This will be 44. 44 and 44, like this will be 484 plus 16. 
484 plus 16 means 500 under root of 500 right so this will be 100 into 5 means 10 root 5 10 100 into 5 means 10 root 5 this will be greater than r1 plus r2 means r1 plus r2 if you see r1 plus r2 is to be 15 plus 5 means 20 and this 10 root 5 root 5 means it will be greater than 2 so this will definitely greater than 20 so means what both the circle just mute it's mean uh, both the circles are separated right they are not intersecting and in this case, uh, total four uh, tangents will come. Let me draw it like how uh, these circles will look like. So this will be our bigger circle. Okay. So let me draw one tangents here. Right. The other circle will be a smaller one. So this will be our smaller circle. And uh, let me join these three points. These three points will lie on the same circle. So these uh, two direct common tangents and two indirect common tangents will be there. So it will uh, so these four tangents will be there. This, this will be your uh, this will be our direct common tangent one, direct common tangent one. This will be our direct common tangent two. This will be our uh, transverse common tangent one, and uh, this will be our transverse common tangent. Two, right? Suppose this is our uh, C2. Uh, C2 is having bigger radius. No? Okay, so this C2 will be minus 10, 3, minus 10, 3. Uh, this will be our C1, which is 12, comma minus 1. 12, comma minus 1. The coordinates of uh, both the centers. This is the uh, radius. Right, its radius is 15, its radius is how much? Its radius is 5. And uh, let me take these points as P and let me take these points as Q. Means P where the transverse common tangents are intersecting and Q is the point where both the direct common tangents are intersecting. So uh, one condition will means you must know one thing that C2P, that C2P, this C2P upon uh, this C1P, C1P, this should be in the ratio of their radius. That is 15 by 5. That is 3 is to 1. So P, P divides internally, P divides, P divides this uh, C1, C2 internally internally in ratio 3 is to 1, right? In ratio 3 is to 1. This you must know, okay? And if uh, that is case, we can uh, anyhow find the coordinates of P since the coordinates of C1 and C2 are known. So once this coordinate is uh, available with us, okay? So we can write the equation of uh, line passing through P Okay, so one more condition we need for that. What we need? We need the tangent, uh, sorry, we need the slope of this uh, line TCT. So for slope, if you see, you can drop one perpendicular from this C2 on this line, right? You can drop one perpendicular from C2 on this line or from C1 on this line. Okay, this will be equal to the radius, right? So from there, you can find the equation of TCT. And for direct common tangents, if you observe, 
this q this q will divide this q will divide this c1 c2 externally externally in the ratio 3 is to 1 so this uh, this thing you should know so that the coordinates of p and q can be identified once we know the coordinates of p and q we write the equation of the uh, direct common tangent and indirect common tangent assuming y equal to mx plus c or y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of p and q and for m what we will do we will drop a perpendicular from the centers on these tangents and we will equate that distance equal to the radius from there we will have the two values of m which we will put in the equation and we will find the value of the I means equation of the tangents so this is all for today uh, we have done this exercise six of circles so i think one more exercise is left in this chapter we will cover that also very soon so uh, till then okay tata goodbye okay